In today's video, we're going to be unboxing a very special machine indeed. Hello everyone, it's been a while. My health has not been exactly great the past couple of months, so the channel's been sort of, yeah, been put in deep slumber. Sorry about that. But we've got something to uh, take a look at today. Uh, don't worry about it, we're going to be doing plenty of other retro tech and Mac shenanigans and PC and all that stuff in the future, because things are sort of improving these days, but still not kind of perfect, but I guess uh, it's good enough to uh, actually get back into tech business and doing some video work. This machine is actually going to help me with that and some other things, but we'll get into that in a little bit, because let's unbox this and see what's inside. All right, I'm very excited about this. We can see what's inside. This is, I think this is actually the bottom, so yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Let's actually put this down. There we are. What a beauty. I'm assuming, at least the box is beautiful. Yeah, that's a lot to take in. Ever since I got uh, my hands on the f my very first Mac Pro, and even Power Mac G5 before that, I've been absolutely in awe with Apple's professional machines. They always look really good, they perform very well, but they're also very expensive. And so I've always been sort of seven, eight years behind on those machines, because that's when they got cheap enough for me to afford them. This Mac Studio is a bit different, because it's not exactly a cheap machine nor was this one. This is not a M1 Mac Studio, this is actually an M2. And by the broken seal you can tell it's used. Well, it's sort of used. This particular one was bought in June of 2023, so it's a year old almost, with three years of AppleCare Plus on it. It was then returned and was waiting on a shelf for someone else to buy it. And that day was a couple days ago actually when I decided to just buy it outright, because it had still more than two years of warranty on it, I figured, well, with it being a very good deal, I got a very good discount on this, it's actually worth me for me to get it. And uh, so I did. Let's open it up. See what the experience is like. Because I'm not entirely sure how to open one of these up. I think it's like this. Ah, yes. Arrows. And then, here is the machine. Wow. It's very dusty. It's been in some kind of environment where there's a lot of very fine dust. Huh. I guess we'll have to give it a clean, but that's no, no big deal. Very chunky, boy, compared to my Mac Mini. Because I already have a Mac Mini with an M2 Pro. This is the Mac Studio M2 Max. It is the base model, which means we have an M2 Max, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD. And in terms of I.O., we get an SD card reader, UHS-2, two USB ports on the front, USB-C. On the back, we have four Thunderbolt 4 ports, 10 gigabit Ethernet, Mickey Mouse for power, two USB-A ports, HDMI 2.0, and an audio jack, and a power button. And this is all ventilation. Yeah, this definitely needs a cleanup. This is disgusting, actually. So, yeah. Very nice. Very heavy machine. In typical Apple Pro fashion, we get a black power cord instead of a white one. Very nice looking indeed. And that's it for the main compartment. Here we have some... Mac Studio documentation. It's not complete. I can tell because it's there's barely anything in here. But that's okay. The most important thing is still there. The black Apple sticker. Oh yeah. That's definitely nice to have. Gonna use that probably. Alrighty. So I guess that concludes the unboxing part. Let's actually check the label on the back here. Yep, we have, let's get this in frame, 
a Mac Studio with Apple M2 Max, 32 gigabytes of unified memory and 512 gig SSD. Cool. Let's get it cleaned up and uh, put some cables on it and see if it actually starts up. Because that would be useful, wouldn't it? All right, we get our rigged up a setup here. Let's power it up. Now the question is whether my video adapters are all working because this monitor does not have HDMI, it only has VGA display port and DVI. So I hooked up a HDMI to DVI adapter and should do something. Does not appear to want to play ball with that. Okay, sure. Let's try again. Yep, got a mouse now. Good, that is excellent. That is excellent. It also appears to have been upgraded to macOS Sonoma, so it's been at least around long enough to get the upgrade from Ventura to Sonoma. Alright, it's all looking good. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up the way I want it to, and then once we're on the desktop, we'll explore it a little bit further. Alright, there we are, macOS Sonoma. Let's go to about this Mac. We are running Sonoma 14.4.1. Okay, so evidently someone had this Mac in their hands before they shipped it out to me, because it's only been a few days since 14.5 was actually available, so that's good, that's good. Okay, so if we go to about this thing, we got M2 Max, 32 gigs, Equus Sonoma, 500 gigs of SSD, that's all looking good, looking snazzy. I have Apple Care Plus until the 11th of June 2026, so that's very good. And yeah, it's not exactly set up the way I want it, because my time machine apparently hasn't been running since October. So I have to fix that, that's going in the background. And then I'll transfer everything over from my Mac Mini M2 Pro to this uh, Mac Studio M2 Max. And then we go from there. The only thing I'm really downgrading on is storage, because I'm using a Satechi dock with an SSD in installed. So I'm losing that storage, but, you know, I've got some more Thunderbolt on this, so... I guess I'll go external, that's no big deal at all. Fast connectivity on the outside is actually going to be faster than a Satachi dock because that's limited to uh, 10 gigabit per second for all the peripherals, including the SSD, so... Not to worry about that. And uh, yeah, I guess that concludes this video because uh, I really need to spend more time with this thing. It's brand new to me and I need to get it uh, set up, do some video editing on it. In fact, I'll be editing this video on this Mac Studio. So uh, that'll be fun to see how fast this can uh, encode the video, because I film in 4K these days with my iPhone 13 mini. And yeah, very, very interested to see how this goes, this journey with this uh, Mac Studio. I've always wanted one of these, and uh, I've finally been able to obtain one for a good price. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.